is Jonathan Nichols, and I would like to welcome you back to Nichols Graphic Designs Presents Building a Brand. This week we'll be discussing business cards. These 3 inch by 2.5 inch pieces of cardstock can make or break you as a graphic designer. They require all the design elements and design principles in order to be effective. They should be legible, they should capitalize on negative space, and more importantly, they should feature a call to action. Business cards work with your brand strategy and your logo, as well as the person handing it out, in order to create a positive experience that the consumer can reflect upon each time they look at it. They should also be unique enough that they stand out inside of a junkie purse or a full wallet. Here is DJ Suave's business card. As you can see, the line art that was used in his logo has appeared again on the business card. We also use more than one DJ symbol, unlike his competitors. The subtle change from a landscape orientation to a portrait orientation already sets the business card apart from any other that the consumer may already have in their possession. This subtle change also takes you out of your instinct and makes you have to turn the card and focus on the information that's on it. On the reverse side, you see his name, his title, social media contacts, a call to action, as well as all of the events that he does are surrounded in the border. It's important to remember that business cards go way beyond ways of getting in contact with people nowadays. They're forms of advertisement. And with that said, my last piece of advice would be to always get your business cards professionally printed. It shows your customer that you're very serious about your craft and the same desire that you have for quality will be shown in whatever service you provide for them. With that said, my name is Jonathan Nichols and it's been a pleasure. See you next time.